All right, what's going on guys? Here, back Miguel the Skipper. And uh, as you can see, we are here in the backyard. I did want to show you guys something. See this lake behind me? There is a park. I showed you guys long, well, three months ago uh, when I started working on the YouTube channel. There's a park way behind me and there is a uh, ribbon cutting ceremony happening now in about 10 minutes. I'm gonna canoe over or kayak. You see the kayaks right over here. I'm gonna kayak over over there and I'm gonna film it and see what happens. See if there's anything uh, interesting going on with this uh, park. This is the Arthur Woodard Park here in Miami-Dade County. It is a county owned park. Uh, Commissioner Bonestine, he is termed out. He's gone by the end of the year. And he's going to unveil uh, all the construction and I'll show you guys that through aerial view of this park I'll try to show you the old and I'll show you the new uh, this reconstruction has been going on for about uh, a year but really the last six months they've been hitting it hard I can hear all the bulldozers and the construction work going on so yeah let's head over there and see what that's all about I'll see you guys on the other side of the lake All right, so here we are, out in the middle of the lake, heading over to the park. <laughs> I'm trying to canoe with one hand while I film, because I'm holding it, of course. All right, and we're gonna go over there for the ribbon cutting. These are selfless actions that define a person's character. And he is somebody that I think we can all learn from in terms of how he helped build a community through his extraordinary actions for caring for my favorite director. <laughs> yeah, <I'm training> <laughs> it's good to say that uh, this morning we are honoring a beautiful soul with each other uh, because we don't meet each other. Uh, we don't not want each other. Walk at the park and introduce ourselves uh, and, and chat with uh, each other. So I take a great pride in knowing that this too is home to a park like other uh, Woodard. I would like to welcome uh, Vanessa Woodard Byers and uh, Mr. Harlan Woodard to. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here for my father. I truly love this space. He did. Both of my parents were physical education teachers. I want to thank everyone who had anything to do with this taking place. I really wish you know, knew my father. Genuinely a good soul. And I just try to live up to what both of my parents instilled in us. Truly great people. Both of my parents taught us to treat people with kindness, but you treat everyone with kindness yes, first. Yes. And that's genuinely who they were. In this space, both of my parents would want everyone to be happy and healthy. Oh, this is my friend. This is the designer of the park. He has created a sacred space. You can stand up just again one more time so people can recognize you. Um, you know, utilize some vacant land that's on the 13th Avenue stretch surrounding this lake and also the 99th, 95th Street stretch surrounding this lake. They built those houses over there. So I think that, that Commissioner Burke used this as a uh, negotiating tool for us to have the foundation of what we have now. And Commissioner Roll was here. Uh, I think they had fenced off this portion of the area, and this stretch was just a uh, green space with maybe four uh, oaks. The space belonged to my father was around and satisfied with that. And we were worried that this half would be uh, developed for housing. The community is so beneficial for what has been presented here today. 
the Parks Department, the Public Works Department, because you can see where they even plant trees along the streets to create the connectivity. Let's stay connected and let this Arthur Wood Park facilitate that connectivity and that enhancement of family. Thank you. Let, we'll start with folks that are here, but there are many others that are not here. Let's give a big round of applause. All right, and then we'll call out this team. We've got Hong. If Hong, if you could stand up and get another big round of applause. Hong is our very talented landscape architect, and uh, his work uh, you'll get to enjoy, and I totally agree with you. It's a beautiful design. Uh, Tamara, please stand up and be recognized. She's been instrumental in providing the drawings and helping Hong with the uh, production, the entire production. We've got Joaquin over there. He's to our team, but an extraordinary asset. He too helps deliver extraordinary projects. Uh, we've got Michael Poole, who is also a landscape architect with our team. He now is with uh, Million Trees Miami, uh, Miami Dade County, and many of the trees that you see planted everywhere is under the leadership of Gabby uh, Lopez and Michael and the incredible team that I have with him there. More trees, yes. Right, and then we've got our operations team. We've got Tommy Morgan, our chief of ops. Tommy, without these folks, this is what then the implementation and building the community, these are the folks that are the front line, front face of all of them. We've got Danny Garcia, Danny who oversees our community and aquatics park. We've got KC over there, who is also with our ops team. We've got Linda. Linda, a big round of applause. We've got Danny, everybody knows Danny. Give him a hand, a big round of applause. All right, and then we've got the team that helped pull it all together. We've got Leo, sound and stage. And we've got Kevin with photographs uh, and taking video. And also, and also we have uh, Godfrey uh, from Miami Day County. So I'd like to recognize Jenny Lopez in the back there. Raise your hand. And we've got Vanessa here as well. Uh, princess, I'm sorry. We've got Princess right here. So wave your hand, Princess. She's holding up the, uh, the camera. Uh, everyone, without further ado, let's go out and let's cut the ribbon. Very exciting. So I would say, you're the Sergeant Juan, yes. Mr. Chamber, what's your name? Juan. Juan Miguel. Nice to meet you. I, I own that property over there with the hill. 80%. County employees, 20% residents. And you'll see how many homes surround uh, this park. But yeah, I would say the vast majority of people here are county employees. It's a very nice thing they have done. showed up today. In the morning, in, in the morning, you was to do this. Mama Bird. He's all shy. He's trying to swim up. All right, here I am with Mama Bird. Uh, you can see I'm out of uh, character today because all we did was kayak over from uh, our home over here to the park. So you can see, essentially, it's a photo op. I don't think any of the neighbors got real... Uh, lit literature of what was going on here today. Uh, I would count maybe three to four houses that showed up, households that showed up, and maybe max. That's max, three to four households. Like I said, the vast majority of the people here are county uh, officials. 
So there's our property back there. Here's Mama Bird in the picture. The only reason we got literature is because somebody from the commission's office um, who knows me well because I've been working with him for the past two years. He actually put a flyer uh, at our, he actually brought a flyer to my home and then he texted me this morning, hey, we're doing a uh, ribbon cutting ceremony. If not, I would not have known that this was happening. And we only got notification because I am super involved in county affairs. So yeah, but we didn't even know this was happening. The only reason we know is because I'm involved in government, uh, county affairs, anything that's government, I get involved and I, film uh but for a skipper mayor 2024 other than that we did not know this was happening i don't think a lot of people knew this was happening this is the way pretty much it goes with county affairs yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly so there you can see not even the police department knew until yesterday and it's, that's the way it goes here so we are new to this community although my mom went to high school two blocks down the road my, mo my mother grew up in this area for a short time before we moved over to opalaka carroll city which is now miami gardens and opalaka stays opalaka but we moved over there and i grew up in uh carroll city and that's where we, my parents invested and my grandmother still has a home there no i'm not going to talk to the commissioner he doesn't want to talk to me uh so anyway uh really 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 admire what arthur woodhead has done here because even before anybody in the county told me, the neighbors told me that it's called Arthur Woodard Park because Dr. Woodard would come out and cut the grass and maintain this property. Yeah, yeah. I'm just Harlan. 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 My right. name's Miguel. This is my wife, Gabby. Hello. Hey, Gabby. How are we, you? Pleasure. We live right there. Oh, that's you? The, yeah. You're the trapeze? I'm the trapeze guy. <laughs> so we kayak over. <laughs> oh, you kayak? Ah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there you guys have it. Uh, there's not much else to report here. I'm gonna take a little bit more B-roll. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to vote for the skipper in 2024, Miami-Dade County Mayor. Love you guys. I love my wife. I'll see you tomorrow.